Ooh, what is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to another smoking tier changes with, of course, yours truly, the Scarender. And uh, yeah, a lot of changes, of course, this time being and it is three months ahead. And I think this is pretty much the, close to the last one smoking change that's gonna be for Generation 6. I do believe we have one in August and maybe one in November, who knows. But at the time being, these are the changes made. And the, bear in mind, this is from February to May. Hoopa was not banned uh, until actually three weeks ago while I'm recording this video. So Hoopa U has affected this tier change a lot. And whether or not that works or cares for is up to debate whether or not the mounts themselves will be moved up or down due to that. So with all that said, we're going to go through one by one basically every mount here and uh, figure out why they are the way they are. Uh, first change is of course Celebi from OU to UU. Which is somewhat surprising, being that Selby has gotten somewhat of a raise now the Volcano was introduced. It's very likely to move up again. But for the time being, I guess Celebi just haven't been enough due to actually Hoopa. Pretty much destroying it with its moveset, with of course massive Dark Stab. And I do believe that's pr primarily the reason. But like I said, it's very, very relevant to move up again due to Volcano being introduced and whatnot. So, use it while you can, definitely. Hunchcrow from UU to RU. It's been somewhere in between that for actually quite some time. I never thought it would be, to be honest, I never thought it would be moved down. But obviously, it does have a lack in power. It is definitely better in Absol when it comes to this certain situation. So seeing Hun Hunchcrow actually changing, it's kind of cool. Uh, I won't deny that. Hunchcrow is, like I said, they're very, very much like Absol with a more, more, um, what do you say? more flexibility to its typing and better stabs but also comes the price of it being more fragile for a certain situation but i definitely see a hunch crow being able to move up again to uh, uu because it just is that strong really uh, next one is actually gastrodon from ru to nu and that is also a mod that's been a long time in the making uh, gastrodon is really not that good in ru it has actual issues um, being primarily that it seismic so basically just its job better but uh, yeah finally it moves down which is kind of funny being of course that we know that another one moved to OU so Gastrodon not surprised seeing it in NU it will most likely stay uh, it is a mod it definitely feels like it's somewhere in between but uh, yeah like I said I'm not really seeing it moving, being moved up back up again and then we have Agron from RU to NU and I feel somewhat yeah, about it. I mean, obviously, Agron is still kind of good, but I guess if you give it some doubt, I'll say that um, being an Aerodactyl dominating the tier means basically in a scarf, Agron basically can outspeed it and Earthquake pretty much kills it. So I guess it has issues and it comes naturally, and uh, it's alright. It is what it is. Um, Agron will likely stay in NU2. But at the same time, it can do well in RU, it's nothing big to it, and uh, yeah, I guess I'm a bit surprised seeing it in NU. Uh, Conkler to UU, finally. I, I do believe that's nine months in the making. Uh, Conkler is not bad for OU, but it's not used as well, because being that is a slower fighting type, it basically means that it relies on re retaliating, and it's been more and more months that don't really care about real retaliated damage as they can be walled out or even worse Conkildur doesn't really have the bulk anymore to actually withstand that retaliation but like I said there Hoopa is a major factor in this kind of environment and being that Hoopa is gone Conkildur still has a chance of moving up but it's not it's not that good no use at the same time I kind of get while it is in UU really um, then we have Alka Sam from OU to UU, and it's not gonna stay in UU, no chance. I'm just gonna say it as it is. It's gonna be moved up any second right, release. Don't take that with a grain of salt. Uh, definitely see that move, be moved up. Same goes for the next one, Megalteria. Megalteria is not staying. It is not staying in UU for long. Um, most due to its force down is basically due to the Hoopa situation. And I guess it has some issues and being somewhat hard to use. Um, but really now, it's um, it's nothing you should really have to be concerned about because Megaltera is very, very viable in OU. Uh, and it's going to destroy UU for a few days, it's going to be in there. And then we have Quagsire from NU to OU. 
And I will say this, I am somewhat surprised about it. Uh, Quagsar is definitely... Uh, has been an OU before with Unaware and whatnot, but it seems there are some other situations going. I do believe that Quagsar can deal with a few mods naturally, being of course Megaltera for that first. Can deal with physical Hoopas while it was active, and uh, it can actually deal somewhat well with uh, Volcania with of course Steam Eruption spams. So I get why it is there. It's somewhat viable in OU. Uh, it's definitely not bad. It's just. It's kind of niche, I guess is the right word of saying it. But if it stays OU or not, up to debate. Um, I do believe it stays here for the next three months. But at the same time, oh, it's somewhere in between. Um, it does fit a few roles naturally, and it feels like stalling is now the way to go in OU. And I do believe Quagsire solves those issues for a lot of people, basically. Uh, it can deal with a lot of things, if anything, and actually can deal rather well with the likes of uh, Chansey, for example. It's better off stalling than Chansey is, so I guess that works in his favor, to be honest. I really don't know how fast it moved up, but obviously it's usually it's based in OU and not another tier. And uh, I think people have to be preparing for that one, if anything. Um, it does work well, like I said, against the likes of Volcania, so I could see the reason why. Uh, Smurgle now moved from RU to NU. Nothing to it. Um, Smurgle, obviously now with the more complex Baton Pass ban, has simply moved further and further down the ladder and um, it also looks like that's something that's gonna change probably gonna end up PU in worst case scenario it still can put off uh, a lone sweep basically but it's um, well it's far from uh, what it has been since obviously changes have made that mod pretty much useless at this point uh, mobile from NU to PU yeah yeah, I, I don't see that. Um, I don't see that staying in PU. But yeah, mobile definitely gotten worse. Um, definitely being forced down a lot. It's not that bad of a mon with its typing, but it feels like people having a hard time using it properly for a team, and it seems to be shoved aside, sadly. Uh, it is definitely more viable than your average mon, but it feels like, like I said, the synergy is not there, and uh, there are better mons for the, the synergy in the lower tiers, and that seems to be the reason it has been moved down. Uh, Sylveon from OU's UU, same as Conk, really. Nine months in the making. It's been a mon that we've seen not being, or it, it is viable in the higher tiers, it's not that. It's just that a lot of stronger fairy mons got introduced, none of which, of course, being Megalteria, which is <laughs> now UU, but uh, yeah, basically, it's definitely gonna stay UU. It's not bad by any means. It's a good specs user, a bit on the slow side, but um, it's it's decent. It works well. It works well. No you. It just it's not as good as it probably could have been. And um, there are too many good fairies in the OU right now that does its job slightly better. And I say slightly because they pretty much feel the same type of role. Of course, we have Guard of War and whatnot. But yeah, basically, I think that's the reason it didn't move down. It's, it has some issues, and uh, it's been somewhere in between UU and OU for a really long time. Um, next change is Among Us from RU to OU, and I think that's the same reason, really, as, uh, as um, Quagsire. It feels like the ever-evolving st stalling meta is evolving in OU. Among Us and Quagsire kind of builds a decent core for that. Being, of course, that um, it, they just take hits, but at the same time, I don't see Among Us staying OU. Uh, I definitely feel it's going to be moved out to UU and even RU pretty darn fast. But um, I guess it have its perks. Um, being one, of course, like stated before, Hoopa. Um, but then again, you know, Psychic and whatnot. So, to be honest, I really don't know how this change was possible. Um, I can't really comment too much about it. I am surprised to see it. I really, really, really am. But it has to do something right. I'm gonna, I'm really getting that feeling. Um, or maybe it just works really well with the synergy with the Volcanion. That's a very, very poss big possibility too. But I am just guessing. I really am just guessing. Uh, Saptos moved from Yu Yu to OU. Yeah. Eventually that was gonna happen. Septos is not a bad mon. Uh, it, it really isn't and with static, I guess it's gotten a lot better uh, Definitely isn't as punishing as having a defensive set with static in mind uh, Don't really have to care about the speed here that much because of it 
and just overall Zapdos does really really well in UU. It definitely fits the bill on any UU team and it feels like the reason that his movement moved up is not because it's over powerful, it's basically it's because that's the only mon you see in every successful UU team Zapdos is a part of that and the usage alone is probably what moves it up eventually. Um, it's a decent, it's, 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 a, it's a, I was gonna say decent mom, but it's a good mom, and um, it's not overall broken. It's a, it is as viable in OU as it is in UU, but it is struggling in OU due to the funders, funder assists. I don't know what, to <laughs> but yeah, seeing Sabdos be moved up again, I mean, OU should be its home, it really should, but at the same time, much like Conqueror and Sylveon. I do believe it's a mod that is somewhere in between and it will probably shift to UU in August again. But yeah, that's the complete tier changes. Like I said, they're the Megas, um, both Alakazam and Alteria. Most likely they will be moved up again, I'm pretty sure about that. Um, and it's like I said, it seems like there is a really, really steady change of stall in OU and um, Among Us and Quagsar probably solves a lot of those issues. Um, I don't play OU more than I... Or I play that a very, very little myself. So I can't really go into more detail on why this change has been. I haven't really noticed it when I played Wi-Fi myself. But I can see the reason why these mods are prominent. And they're not necessarily bad mods by any chance. They are famous for being lower tier mods, basically. But they can do well in the higher tiers when come to very very difficult hard attacking mods. I can definitely see Among Us for example being able to deal somewhat with the likes of uh, Mega Altera for example so it kind of makes sense but uh, at the same time I have to really take you guys for it when it comes to this change in mind because I really can't say too much about it and most of these changes make sense uh, the ones that doesn't um, such as like I said the Megas uh, it is what it is but seeing Hunchros for example in RU it's gonna be interesting. I wonder how long it will stay. It's definitely a dangerous mod to have in RU. Uh, and I, I don't see it staying. It is basically too strong for it. But yeah, I mean, these are the tier changes. We're going up to making a long video anyway. I was actually supposed to do it like two minutes or something like that. But, well, a lot of changes mean a lot of talk. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing the ladders again. More interesting stuff is definitely available for all the players. So yeah, this is awesome. So, thank you everybody for, of course, watching, and thank you Smogon for actually posting this, so now we know how to play the game in the future. So, yeah, for everybody else, thank you, like I said, so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.